Latinas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ha! Philippines! Oh wow, a slow-mo turn. And then she goes on into giving us that great face, that great attitude. She's, she's killing the game here. Philippines has so much riding on this. And of course, a crowd favorite and different. I love the color. I love her smile. She has a sultry, sultry walk. Welcome back. I'm backstage here with Philippines. And this is there's so much going on right now. So what's the number one thing on your mind right now? I just want to go out there and be my best. And I can feel my country right behind me. So I'm so honored to be in the top 10. I'm rooting for you too. So good luck. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is Philippines! What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila and the life there is very it's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster, and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. The new Miss Universe is... Philippines! 